Hi everyone, welcome back to the Only Shade Drops channel. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. This morning, Belgium revealed their Eurovision 2024 entry. We already knew the name of the song, the singer. It's Before the Party's Over by Musti. I'm so hyped and happy to have Musti represent us in your vision as you know i'm belgian and moroccan so i'm really really <laughs> about our entry it's hard to put it into words and for once i was hyped like it's been eternity since i wasn't hyped about a belgian artist that we revealed is coming to your vision and everything so this time i even did a whole video about what we can expect from musti you can check it it's been done a few months ago so let's just Let's just go, I'm going to talk about our potential in Eurovision, what can Musti achieve, how to stage this and everything, and I'll also, as always, give my rating at the end of the video. So, Belgium, 2024, before the party's over, Musti, here we go. I love his voice. There, all the microphones around him make me think of uh, Agone staging in uh, Benny Dorm Fest 2023. I think it builds up pretty well. His his voice is excellent. Oh, yeah, I love this part. It's so. Yeah. I mean, for a while we've had the voice contestants that you see their songs and you know they don't know what they want to do with it like Elliot, uh, Senec or uh, Jeremy Marchese well, Hooverphonic, Gustav were different because they were established they knew what they wanted, they knew their style and everything and here you see someone who knows what he wants to do with this song splendid vocals amazing stuff Let's go! Okay, this is the best part. The bridge is the best part here. Alright, let's go! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Finally! I think this can get top 3 with the jury votes. Excellent. Excellent. Great job, Musti, and thank you. So <laughs> let's let's talk about what this entry can achieve in Eurovision. You know now how I feel about it, you know that I love it. I think it's my favorite Belgian entry since like ten years or something. But now what can we achieve in Eurovision? I think that Musti really knows what he wants to do with this song with the staging and everything so i think that the visual performance will be very good knowing that he's a great live singer even though this song sounds so fucking hard to sing i believe he'll manage to perform it perfectly i don't know but i know he'll manage to perform it well now results wise let's say that we have good staging good performance let's say that let's Assume we there will not be any disaster. I don't think there will be any disaster with him. I'm pretty confident. But okay, let's say we have a good staging, good performance. We still need to discover like 16 or 17 entries, so it's maybe soon. But here we have a potential jury vote winner. I think top three of the jury is top five, maybe win. The problem now is I don't know how to get the televote. I think to get the televote, you really need a strong visual performance. This can get tanked by the televote, like end up 15th or 16th by the televote. But it can also, if well staged and everything, grab a top 10. Now, I'm not saying that I think we're winning this year. I don't think we're going to win right now. I, I don't see it yet. Maybe when May comes, I'll be like, okay, we maybe have a shot but right now. I don't believe in it. But the option of a top five seems pretty 
It's not very realistic. It's realistic, I think, to try to aim for a top 5. Top 10 would be great. It would be really, really good to end up top 10. But I think the top 5 is manageable. We still need to see the other songs that will be there. Like, okay, you... I don't think we'll beat Ukraine, for example. I don't know if we'll beat Lithuania or Italy. I'm not sure of that, so that's why I'm like, no, I'm a winner, maybe not. But potential top 5, and I, in my opinion, we'll end up at least top 10. As for my rating, I'm going to give this for the first time in 10 years since Axel Irsu's mother, I'm going to give Belgium a 10 out of 10. This is it. This I love it. So, thanks everyone for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, put a little like, subscribe, and join our Discord channel. Link is in the description below. See you there. Bye-bye.